Listen to empty thoughts, empty Aha! Ladies and gentlemen, welcome. This is the first episode, installment of the Empty Thoughts, what do we call this, a podcast? Empty Thoughts Show. Show, okay. Um, I'm your hostess with the mostest, you know, that's me, that's, that's me. I'm easy. Um, you might recognize me from being Angie Martinez's producer. Some of you might know me from the sit down on the weekends. And uh, yeah, that's just me and my lovely co-host to the left of me, Miss. T Diddy, what's up? What up, dude? Um, yeah, you guys should know me as you know the Breakfast Club producer, Brilliant Age producer, a lot of um, shows on the Black Effect, uh, Black Effect Network as well, and you know, just your average day, beautiful living alien. But we'll get to that another time. Oh, and hold on, do you wear socks? <laughs> yes. Because you're looking real ashy right now, son. I don't even want to look all the way up. I have lotion today. Then you have a cheap lotion. Let's look, let's look what you got going on, actually. See, this is not fair. <laughs> this is yeah. not fair. I have a saying. Men don't lotion their whole bodies. We don't do that. We lotion where we think people are going to see. So let me ask you a question, actually, for that. So what if there's been, you had like a one night stand before, right? It's in the dark. They can't see that in the dark. So there's never no light that's on. First of all, I don't have a, a bunch of <laughs> one night stands where I'm just out here just slaying. You know what I mean? That, that's even in my heyday, we wasn't doing that every night. So I'm not saying every. No, I'm just saying. Have you had a one night stand? I've had one night. So stand. you're trying to tell me you was all lotioned up, then? Because I thought someone was going to see me. So if I was going on a date, I would. Oh, go so home. you knew you was about to get ass. I, I mean, if I, okay. When I'm going to work, I'm only lotion certain parts. If I'm going out for the night and I'm going out with the boys, with the fellas, I'm, hey, you don't know what's going to happen, the whole body gets lotioned, okay? So, so okay, Are you looking up for your mat? Not Yo, for my mat. Oh, wait, can I? Oh, wait, come here, come here, come here. So, get out of here. Get away from me. Get away from me. Get away from me. <laughs> I was going to sign my name. Actually, uh, Chrissy, can you get my lotion that's going to it's gonna gleam you up crazy real quick? Does it smell like anything? Nah, it's from a black owned. Um, it's from a black owned. Yeah, that one. Business. It's from a black owned business. What's it called? Butter. Period. Toss it over. I don't know if periods added into it. I think like here we go. This is free advertisement, by the way. That's me. That really means I fuck with you. <laughs> Look, just try to put it on your face everywhere. No, I'm not putting it on my face. No, for all you should. Looks like cream cheese. What's Rick Ross's favorite nursery rhyme? A rose. Hey, that's it. Ring around the rose. That's tiny Mike jokes. So, as I was about to say, mm -hmm. we are basically two producers. One of the, uh, from the two biggest shows in New York City. Yes, yes, yes. And we talk may or may not. Give you some behind the scenes stuff. Hey, listen, <laughs> if, if Angie Martinez decides she wants to sit on the couch, I'm more than welcome to have Angie come through. If Charlemagne, Envy. Your lovers. Okay, ready? Here it goes. Let's, let, let's get into it. So Envy and his wife are on this, this uh, book tour. Shout out to Envy. I've known Envy for quite some time. I've never really known his wife. Um, they were in the interview, and they were talking about going to second base. So um, I'm the guy that went to second base with DJ Envy. Don't ask me to explain it. I'm going to apologize. It happened. What's your second base though? It's touching on the touching on, on the on the breast. That's second base to you. What is second base to you? I okay. I feel like it changed over time. So no, no, don't, was, don't, no, don't no, add no, no, no. disclaimers so to this. When, when what was, is your second base? Well, as I, of right now, with COVID happening. Shouldn't they, shouldn't they change in a way? Okay, so originally, I'm going to say first base was kissing. Um, Second base was? Rubbing, like filling up. Uh-huh. And then third base was finger. But then I think about it, right? Shouldn't it, second base be the same thing as third base? Or third base should be the same thing as second base? Because it's feeling just downstairs, though. But, anyways. No, 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 no. No. First base is kissing. Second base is filling up. Third base is fingering. The reason they're separated is because 
again, back in my day, as old as I am, we wasn't as fast as you you kids nowadays that just want to get right to the fucking like, ah! no, it was it was more of a of a, a slow build. So that's why it was separated. Does build up also mean you're sucking on the titty too? Yes, uh, I did not suck on DJ Envy's titty. Don't ask me. Don't I'm act that. Me. Don't put that. <laughs> it did not happen. <laughs> Are areolas the same size? Is it yours? Have you looked? I've never really looked at Why it. Why like do we that. have areolas, though? We is too many people. What do you mean? Do guys, uh, that's called an areola on a guy, too? Yes. Are you sure you're just telling me that? It's called an areola. On a man? Yeah. Why would it not be? Because this, I mean, men's you has, you nipples are You have nipples. You have nipples. We have nipples, but we do have we have nipples. areolas? Yes, nipples come with the areolas. Areolas come with the nipples. <laughs> with all nipples come areolas. No, because I've seen nipples where it's just a little, just, just a little nip and nothing around it. No, I'm lying. I'm lying. No, it's had areolas too. <laughs> Thank you. Can I also talk about something about that? You have hair on your areolas? I do have one hair. I, I I try to pluck, but it never wants to come out. Why are we getting this personal? <laughs> Why did we ask that question? Why I, do you I, only have one? I'm not a hairy person. I don't know if you realize. I'm not a. I don't grow a beard. I'm not a hairy person. I'm slick. You know what I mean? Okay. Anyways. Anyways. <laughs> Do you have a friend who turned into a weird bitch? Well, break them down to Weird Bitches Rehabilitation Center, where we turn weird bitches normal. Ladies, weird bitches, line up. Thank you for bringing your friend to Weird Bitches Rehabilitation Center. We appreciate it. Y'all might, during the episode... Don't mind it. Um, my eyes may start getting just real low and red. Is, was that something that you needed to say? I didn't want people to worry. That I'm just giving them a warning. Like I already know what's going to happen. Oh, so if you break out and have like a seizure mid-episode, they're not supposed to worry? <laughs> She's just like, that's just how Taylor goes? She starts eye twitching like, oh, that's just Taylor. She, she warned no, us. No, that's, that's not what's going to happen. I'm just <laughs> so saying. why would you even say I'm just saying. I'm just giving the... <sighs> Anyways. Exactly, exactly. Get to our first topic, Taylor. Come on, talk. Um, so I saw something that I thought was very endearing um, with uh, Viola Davis. Is she a grandma yet? I don't think she has any kids. Oh. Um, but she said, she was talking to Oprah, and she was saying how she found her husband, and she said she prayed on it. Okay. Okay, how long has she been with her husband? Oh, I don't know. I don't what, how old was she when she started praying for this man? Like, that's not, that's what kids... No, are... she was like, I think young, like probably in her 30s. That's young? You think you old? Because I'm in my 30s. I mean, I'm getting there. Yeah, you're older than me, but I'm not, I'm so young out here. I'm a hot tamale. So when was the last man you prayed for, Taylor? I never prayed for a man, but... But this is how ironic it is, though. I'm so no, for let me tell you her story, because she like was mad specific. She said she got on her knees. Hmm. <laughs> Come grow up. She I said, didn't say pause. Then I could have said pause. But go ahead. She got on her knees and she said, uh, "I did. I said I want a big black man from the south." who's probably been married before, has kids, because I don't want any pressure in that department. Someone who's maybe been an actor, understands the artistic community. Someone who goes to church and loves God. So three weeks later, she found a man that was an ex-football player, was married, and raised his children on his own, and an actor, and invited her to church. That's crazy, is and that, they're married. Is, is, that's the same man she married? Yeah. So that's so ironic. So you mean to tell me that she prayed for this man? This man came and was happy ever, ever after. About right, yeah, sounds right. So y'all were telling y'all trying to tell these women out here to pray for the man, and the perfect man's gonna come in three weeks. 
I'm That's just what saying. saying. No, no, no. I'm asking. Is that what y'all saying? Because if it happened for Viola Davis, it's got to happen for you. Did she? Go ahead. Go ahead. Because Viola Davis has got to be in her 40s. You fast ass chicks ain't waiting three weeks for no man. First guy that says hello, you go in for him. Stop it. Why you make it sound like we, we're y'all? We're y'all. What, excuse Guys me? are thirsty like that. We're not gonna be in a relationship. That's you must not have. Be, you know what? Let me not talk because I haven't been out in a while. Post pandemic, I'm talking pre pandemic chicks, and they were thirsty. What you talking about? You have a question. I don't want to hear it. <laughs> I don't want to hear it. I don't. Why? Go ahead. What do you think Viola Davis like thinks about to make her like really like snort that cry like that she do? What did you just ask me? Think about the that face she be making like when she be crying and snorting. Like, what do you think she be thinking about to make her like that? Well, before she had her man, the lonely night she used to spend in her bed by herself. Damn. <laughs> <laughs> she had to go to a cold, lonely place, right? First of all, let's be very clear, okay? A woman, I'm going to be that woman. A woman does not need a man, okay? Uh, I'm going to say that. Listen, if women thought like that. You know why you know, you know if women thought like that, there'd be no, you, right? Because without men, you got to procreate some way. No, when I, but see, you're missing the point. When I say that, I'm not saying, like, we don't need y'all for, like, you know, have a kid or anything like that. I'm saying, like, once y'all gave that to us. I take back my statement. Um, did you see what happened with Mike Tyson? Yes. He was all the way right. And you know what's so crazy about that? A couple of weeks ago, he calmed a guy. Remember that guy that put out a gun? On, yo, and listen, then now he punched niggas. Listen, that white guy wanted all that smoke, and he deserved everything he got. No, I believe Listen that. to me. Mike Tyson is a savage. That smokes mad weed now. Mike Tyson is a nice guy. He's not a bot. Like, he's really like, he plays with pigeons. He's not the killer he was 10 years ago. But y'all thought because he's playing with pigeons and smoking weed now, you're going to get to Mike Tyson. Mike Tyson showed y'all about these fucking hands. <laughs> but I, I, said, I, I, can say, I, I will also say Mike should have held his, his composure because that guy could sue him now. I know. Because guess what? That was the thing. Would you take a punch from Mike Tyson for a million dollars? Would you? Is he gonna fuck up my face? Wherever he wanted to punch you, one punch. Would you take it for a million dollars? Yeah, probably so. <laughs> I think, and I don't condone men hitting women, but you take one in the chin for Mike. A million? Nah, a million's not enough anymore. Give me like a, a smooth like three hundred million. I'm good. I'm gonna do this. It's not worth it. It's not, it's not worth it. it to I'm, you? Not, I'm not. I'm not breaking. Three hundred million is not worth not it to break, you. No, it's not worth it to him. I'm not breaking your jaw for three hundred million. I'm not doing that. I'm not losing three hundred million to break somebody's jaw. Mike Tyson is, is not doing that. How much? How you? How you don't think that he's about to sue him for that? But the the, the thing is, he's gonna go to trial like everything else, and they've got the guy's has a criminal record, and the guy was like he was. He, he was, does. Yeah, he was being he was being you know a, a, a heckler as they say. He was in Mike's ear doing all that shit. He was sitting behind Mike Tyson. There's only but so much I'm gonna take. In the air, while you behind me talking all that shit. But know. granted, Mike went too Mike far. Mike went. He was just dying, dying, dying. I was. Come on. When, who, I wonder who stopped Mike Tyson. Are you gonna stop Mike Tyson? Mike Tyson <laughs> stopped Mike Tyson. <laughs> Nobody stopping Yo, let me Mike. Let ask you a question. Has there ever been? Has your girl or any girl ever got you like trying to almost fight a guy? Yeah. So has there been a time where like <laughs> you had to? Like, you turn around, we're going to fight the... Like, you have to get, like, buck, right? Excuse me, my man. Have you ever been, like... Yo, that's, that's what I said, though. Excuse me, my man. Can we not? And he looked at me. Was, what did he do? Wait, hold on. What happened? I forgot what, what he did. <laughs> I forgot what he did. He did something. It was minimal. Because you know how you, you females don't... It was just the most minimal, minimal thing. It was, you going to let him disrespect me? I think he cut us in line. Uh, I, think, I think he might have cut us in line waiting for a movie or something like that. But he was obviously going to his friend that was sitting, like, that was the way with him. <laughs> but she wanted me to get all buck. I'm like, yo, can we not cut and lie, my man? And then what happened? He stayed there. He said exactly what I said. I'm here with my friend. You got a problem? Like, all right. <laughs> 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 what did he, say? Was, he looked like wax. What do you want me to do? What was really? I supposed to do? He looks a big, burly nigga. That would mean he could fight? You're right. But I wasn't going to take that chance. 
Because guess what? I'd rather look like that than have her have to fucking... Then she look at you like, mm. <laughs> <laughs> I don't remember. But I'd rather that than her have to console me after something going to so beat me you, up. So when will you take a fight for a guy? So what if he like, slaps her ass? You got to fight. <laughs> what are you doing? I'm a lover, not a fighter. But if you touch my girl ass in front of me, you, you, you're, 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 you're challenging me to a duel. That's like back in the day so when they, I demand respect. But I'm saying you're gonna, you're gonna. <laughs> we fighting, my nigga. I'm sorry. We fight because even if you tell me sorry, to me sorry, fam. You, you, what the? F nah. I'm gonna act all sorts of crazy, hoping he walks the fuck away. Yo, I remember um, this guy. Was Cause you hold on, you look like the type. No, I don't. You look I, like the type that right. make a nigga get into a fight. Like yo, the you not gonna do that. The only time I got a nigga, me and nigga fight. <laughs> he got beat up. It was my fault though. Of course. No. <laughs> okay, this is back. <laughs> Go ahead. He's watching this right this now. 18 years ago. Yes, I, I cheated before. And <gasps> it was with his friend, too. I'm, I'm out of here. I, <laughs> I was young. 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 For real, for real. With his friend, Taylor? Young. He did to my fucking friend first. So, so instead of break up with him, you no, got, no, you don't got the story right. Don't do that. You don't got the story right. Leave, no, no, leave, leave that for another episode. We're going to come back to that. Okay. We're going to come back to this. Right. We're in time constraints. All I, right. I want to come back to that okay. one. <laughs> Producer, uh, thank you. Continue. All right. Whatever. Anyway. Cheater. Cheater, <laughs> deceiver. Whatever, whatever that song goes. That's you. Heartbreaker, and I don't <laughs> want you back in my life. So I'm taking the house, the cars, the keys, and the cars. <laughs> exactly. I want it all. Yeah, and that's my shit. Anyway, sorry, I just got into it. You know why Random. I just got into it? Because I saw Babyface the other night. <laughs> yeah. Okay, hold on, hold on. Did a, did a guy take you to see Babyface? Nah. Mm -mm. So, Not this time. So it was a bunch of single girls watching Babyface? What? So it was a bunch of single girls enjoying Babyface? I don't get what you're trying to come from. I'm just saying. What does that have to do with anything? A lot of heartbreak. There's a lot of single guys that probably went to go see Babyface. Did you see any? Yes. Liar! <laughs> Liar! Liar! There's no guys single man like going to see Babyface. No single straight man going by him. Guys her. like Babyface. I don't know no man that likes Babyface enough to go, go to a concert by himself. Do you that know does a have guy that would go to a concert by himself with Chris Brown? Do you think that's different? Chris Brown's amazing, though. He's an entertainer. You're trying to say that Babyface is not? Are you crazy? Ba Babyface and is And Babyface a is a... Yo, let me tell you what he was doing. He was like this. He was dancing. Okay. You, was dancing. Uh, the, I don't think the camera's getting you, but go ahead. Okay, he was dancing. <laughs> he was, did they see me? Okay, look, they was dancing. He was doing the... Like, he was... Like, killing it. That's, listen, listen. I like to watch people that do things that I can't do. Chris Brown's jumping off fucking no, things but on he was still, planes but and But he was still singing, that. though. Yes, Chris Brown was doing flips no, while he was no, jumping no. down At a mountain. At his age. Another, but I'll save it for another day. Anyways. Um, Megan Thee Stallion, plan B. I got, I got a lot of problems with Make the Sign. I got a lot of problems with Make the Sign, but we don't have enough time on this episode to talk about all the problems I got with Make the Sign. It's not about the fucking problems you have with her. Relax. I'm talking about um, her song, Plan B. Her freestyle she did under Lil' Kim's. Okay, so now, uh, Plan Bs are amazing. They are amazing. I, I, con I condone Plan D. Absolutely. <laughs> I condone Plan Bs. Yes, I am a... F I, yes, absolutely. Me too. But a lot of people, so I was talking to the guys like earlier today um, at the job and they were saying how it was a line in the song where she was saying like, um, I'm a papa and we get ready to like, be so I want to deal with you, whatever like that. And the guys Thank had, you. But the guys had the, that's what I was Thank saying. Thank you. But the guys felt a type of way about that, like Brandon and... uh. There's yeah, another guy named the, T. The, the guys, them, they're young kids. They want, you T know. T was my age. Them, that, that's, yo, listen, let me tell you something. I have a lot of kids, okay? Well, Take wait. your time. <laughs> Take your time what to make the that? kids, man, because that's a lot of that's money right. you don't got, and it's a lot of uh, time you don't want to waste. Listen, as a father, I wake up at 4 o'clock in the morning every morning, one way or another, because, like I said, I got kids. 
if Jasmine would have told me, rewind, and I love my kids. I'm not saying I would have got rid of any of them. They're here. I love them to death. I beautiful. Love them all. If she was like, yo, I'm Papa Pat, I'm like, oh, shit, hey, <laughs> go ahead. Because that headache is gone. But I love my kids. So did you ever want kids? Yeah. I want, I see, I wanted 12 kids at one point. Like, I wanted, I wanted a big family. And God has blessed me with a big family. So I'm happy. I wonder if y'all niggas felt that way if, it, like, y'all was having the kids. No. Hello? I, would, I wish I could get a nigga pregnant. There's your clip. I want that clipped. <laughs> I want that clipped, and we're going to push that on the gram. Okay? That's going I on the TikTok. That's going on Instagram. It's going on the Facebook. She said, I wish I could get a nigga pregnant. I wish I could get a nigga pregnant. So you want to rub a big nigga's belly? We're, no, that, I just want to get him listen, pregnant. Listen, but off the record, we're going to make that skit happen. We're going to make that skit happen. Okay. Um, why would you want to get a nigga pregnant? So I could be like, yo, and be like, oh, like have the sympathy like for y'all, but like I'm chilling. I can do whatever the fuck I want. I can still smoke. Yeah, but see, again, you don't understand the 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 the, also, the levity. Also, honestly, because I nigga, I would see. love to sit here and tell you, I'm my feet are swollen, I'm hungry. Go get me McDonald's. Make sure I have ice cream and three pickles on all of those burgers. I feel like you do that already. No, I don't. <laughs> you know what, Taylor? Can't stand you. Can't stand you. Go to the next topic. Hit the goddamn. Bell. Yo, what the hell is this? <laughs> Oh, All right. Um, so, did you see that New Jersey cops? Shout out to Jersey. Um, stops to smoke weed with a civilian while directing traffic on 420. Oh, I saw that. Um, I hope he didn't lose his job. Was it a black guy? Yeah. Damn it. Yeah. Come on. that. Come on. But I feel him. I would probably do the same shit. What? You don't smoke with strangers now? Nah. Oh, wait, I have a question. Wait, 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 wait. You've never been to a concert. I was gonna say, what makes a what makes a stranger a stranger? Someone you don't know their no, last no, name. No, 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 no. What makes a stranger for too long? I'm saying, like, think about it. When we <laughs> met, when how long are you not my stranger? That's what I'm trying to say. We're coworkers. You're not strangers at that point. We're coworkers. I see you every day. We are coworkers. Okay, so at a concert, how long are you strangers? First time I give him high five, you're no longer a stranger. We we cool. Because I go to a lot of basketball games, and I don't know half the people that sit around us, but the first time I get, woo! All right, we cool now. That's it. You want to hit this blunt? No doubt. It's just because of the proximity of where we are. Because mm. guys do that. I don't know how girls are. I don't know how y'all are, but that's how we operate you know, as men. Girls are kind of like, oh, I love your hair. I love your hair. And then we're friends. I've never complimented a guy to be his friend. We've probably been on some sports. Lies. Yeah. I don't believe you. You never complimented. A, a random friend, like, yo, son. Dumps kicks his fire, yo. Yeah. And that's my man now? Nah, never in life. Never so in life. So, I never compliment your, like, ashy ankles or some of that? Like, yo, you need some? <laughs> Tired of this girl. <laughs> Whose idea was this? Yeah. <laughs> Whose idea was this? Okay? I'm, I'm, I feel bullied. No, <laughs> no, for real, for real. A guy never was like, yo. Look, I'm just going to use your, look. It's like, yo. I had Ash Ingles too earlier. Like, here's motion. Are you um Never. You're not gonna be friends with him? No. What? Because now I feel you you're talking about my Ashy Angles, my nigga. Like that's that that's that's that, that's the entry point you want to be my friend at? No, I'm good on that. I don't believe you, but whatever. Look, let's make some sense out of no sense. Real quick. Okay. Um do you, this is what I was thinking about earlier, right? Because I was, I'm talking to a guy, whatever, right? And then he was asking my parents and all that. Like, when am I going to let, like, a person meet my parents, everything else? So then I thought about it, right? Because I'm an affectionate person. Where? I am. Tell it. Tell, yo, yo, tell it. Yo, you're the meanest woman I've met in my life. What do you mean, affectionate how? You're the second person that said that. So, so hello, and I don't know whoever said. Why do y'all think I'm so mean? <laughs> no, for real, for real. Because you're four ten. That's first off. Four, short people are mean off rip because they got the Napoleon complex. I'm five one. Um, in your heels. I'm five one. Fuck you, yeah. Um, but back to what I was saying. I'm an affectionate person, right? So, 
I don't think I could be affectionate like that in front of my parents, though. If he was like, if I was to. Why? I don't know. You're an adult. So you slobbing on your. No, first of all, if we're not doing, we're not, we're not full out tongue kissing in front of my mom. Let me ask we're not question. You that. fuck it. Okay. In the same house as your mom. Well, ugh, that's different. Yeah, Jasmine lived with me when I was living with my mom. She was, and she was loud in the motherfucker. I would always try to calm her down and she was still. Your mom knew? Most likely. Yo, let me say something. My fucking kid's not fucking in the same house I'm fucking. What? Yo, you got me fucked up. You got me fucked up. See, because you're nah. thinking of it as a teenager. As a teenager, ain't no kids fucking in my house. Yes. But again, I was a grown ass man. I I had, I was let go from the breakfast club. I, I didn't know what my next move was, so I went back home to my mom's. Instead of living in this apartment and, and accruing all this debt, I said, let me go back home, figure this out. Luckily, you know what I'm saying? Like cute violins, but go ahead. What are you going to say? Luckily, <laughs> Angie Martinez gave me a call and I got, a, you know, I got another chance at it, but that's why I was back home. But I was already in my mid 30s or early 30s or whatever the case may be. My mom couldn't tell me not to have sex. I mean, I wasn't going to be blatant and just leave fucking everywhere, but you know, what happens? I guess in a way, but <laughs> yeah, you're not fucking them. If I find out though, I don't know, it's something about how I bought my house and you're not fucking it. In that so you've never fucked in your parents' house? I have. It's disrespectful. But I'm saying like. You never fucked on your parents' bed? Absolutely not. I uh, had. Y'all don't be bold. These kids are You boring. fucked on your mom's. Oh, not on my mom's bed. No, on her mom's bed. Oh my. my mom would have killed me. Nigga, you crazy? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. My mom would have killed me. Fucked up. That's so just you so you just nut it all on her no, mom's I, sheets? No, it didn't go on her sheets. She was a uh, um Why? Why didn't she do it on like why? She asked me if I wanted to. Cause her bed was like a little twin, you know, like whatever. Her mom's bed was a big old <laughs> Yo, how big was the girl? She was thin. She was, you know. So why can't she and you was probably thin too? Why can't she all fuck on your own? Because bed? we want to uh, I mean, wanted to lounge out. I wanted to roll a couple of times and still be on the bed. You know what I mean? Like, it was cool. That's fucked up. What you Speaking find? of sex, hold on. Speaking of sex, why is it girls don't want to have sex on their period? What do you mean, why is it? Uh, did, are you, I'm speaking English, right? You understand what I said to you? Why is it girls don't want to have sex on their period? Like, I don't understand. Question it's I just asked. Blood. Why do you want to have, why do you want to? Because you're definitely not getting pregnant. I don't have to really pull out. I don't have to get you all hot and wet because it's already, it's, you know what I mean? Like. You don't care that it's blood, my nigga? So I'm, the, so I'm the only, I, hold on, time. I, in the comments, I want in the comments. So I'm the only person that runs red lights? That's what we're doing. No, like, honestly, this is very, like, you're very inconvenienced. You, you know what your girl told me? Who? I'm not going to name no names. Okay. He's a, he's a, he's a former NBA legend that likes to, to eat the vagina while she's on her period. <laughs> Yo, I'm sorry, bro. Please don't hurt me. You know what I'm talking about? No. <laughs> you know what I'm talking about? At first, I thought you were talking about... Um, I don't know why I just went to... Someone at the station that offered that to me. I don't oh, know God. why I just went to that. But okay, go HR, ahead. HR, HR, HR. It okay. wasn't me. Um <laughs> But yeah, so I think I think men are into different things. Why? So so the so question would, I want to ask is. So you would eat her out. Hell no, 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 no. Why not? Men are into different things. <laughs> <laughs> Listen, it's a different consistency down there when you're on your period. That's I'm good on that. This is disgusting to think about. So you've so never you had sex like on your period? Hitting it and you like, oh yeah, blood. Like you don't think that <laughs> no, you? It's, no, yo, tell you, he's fucking nuts. First of all, no one's like, yeah, blood. No, 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 no. <laughs> so that's how y'all be like, yeah, get wet. So I'm thinking like, yeah, get like more. Blood. No, in your mind it's like, oh, that shit is dumb wet. Yeah, that shit bloody as a bitch though. Fuck it, hit it. Yeah, that's what it sounds like y'all doing. I don't know, bro. I'm having fun. I enjoy it. I enjoy the vagina when it's bloody like that, brother. That is disgusting. What made you think about that? We were just talking about sex. So you go to blood? Like, you go to period blood? That's like your, like, go-to then. Whatever, Taylor. I don't know. What I wanted to ask was, 
Who do you think is more against the period sex, men or female? Um, well, because because say. women are supposed to be very horny during on their period as well. Okay. So then, so who who is the per, who is who is the person that's declining the sex more, the women or the men during the period? And I want to know. Put put in the comments. Give me some answers. I want to know. Or maybe I I'm just say, too nasty. And I I'm talk gonna about say it um, women are the ones because there's a lot more women in the world. And uh, if you're having, if you're just dating a girl, uh, dating a guy, no girl's gonna have sex with a guy on the first time, especially if they're on the period. Why do you always go to like the extremes? Of course, I'm not smashing some that's bloody as shit on a first date, God. Like, we're but not doing no, that. I'm saying we're our, we're stopping it already though, because we're not gonna let that happen. But first of all, I don't believe. Okay, <laughs> I don't. If it's the first date and we're on, we're getting hot and heavy, and I'm trying to smash, and you tell me it's your period, I definitely don't believe you. I Why? definitely yeah. don't believe you. That's you just not wanting me to smash on the first night. Wait, you think that all the time? I'm telling you, you're not. You're lying to me because you don't want to pursue this or go any further because you don't want so me to look at you in a different way because be? I'm smashing you on the first so night. So what do you think the reasons be if the girl denies you? Because she's on her period. Because she's, she's telling me she's on her period so she doesn't want to have sex with me because she doesn't want to feel like she's giving me the pussy the first night. No, you're saying the period thing is an excuse. Yes. So you don't think it will be anything else? What do you mean? I'm else? saying like you don't think that like she, what, if she wanted to make an excuse. Yeah. Nah, nah I'm, I'm not so buying you any other. So you're ready to fu just fuck. I don't know nothing about girls. I know about my wife. Let me tell you something. I denied sex and I wanted it. What was your excuse? I can't. Tell. This is very embarrassing. What was the excuse? <sighs> okay, so when I drink. I know we gotta go. I'm, I'm on, I'm on, I'm on, I need this. I need this. Come on. <laughs> when I drink, I tend to have to go to the bathroom a lot. Okay. And that one night. And Yo, come on, bro. Come on. I don't know. Okay, so basically, we were going, we we're already going. You peed on yourself? You shit on yourself. You peed on him. We are, you'll find out next episode. Oh, I'm okay? mad. I'm so <laughs> mad. This was not part of the plan. This was not in the script. They, this, is, this is wrong. I'm with y'all on this. Wait till the no, first topic. For for this real. is first topic next episode. I'm not playing with you. That's so embarrassing. Okay. So what did we learn today? <laughs> that Taylor's um, a liar. <laughs> um, what did we learn today? That prayer may work. No, it doesn't. Don't lie. I'm lying. I'm, no, I. You right. Prayer does work. I just don't think praying for a man would work. I think God's got bigger issues in your life than bringing you a man. But that's just me. God has work for everybody. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know why. See, it's happening. It's happening. Right now. Uh -huh. Okay. So let's Remember start. the let's eye start. thing she was telling you before. It's about to happen. <laughs> Cut to the Wendy Williams when Wendy was like. Okay, my co-host can't. Yeah. Okay, <laughs> let's wrap this up. Okay, um, the moral of the story is, uh, I don't know what is the moral of the story. The moral of the story is, yo, run red lights. It's good. It's good for your health. You're right. Uh, don't fuck with Mike Tyson because you're not playing that. Uh, shit. duh. You should never try to fuck with Mike Tyson. I mean, come on. And um, public PDA. I think it's cool. Uh, not in my not in my fucking house. We'll be back next episode, Taylor. All right. And what do you, what do what do you, what do you how do you what, what, how do you want to end the show? Tell the Taylor, tell, tell, tell them one more time. Just know that every thought. Oh wait. Yeah, I knew. I, I saw it. I knew you. Come on, hey, hit me with the Wendy Williams again. Okay, okay. get. <laughs> All right, mate. No thought is ever empty.